in January of 2021, the uh, NCCM um, put the BCI on the guidelines to, um, and you can see over on the left, these are the um, in secondary analysis of the MA17, transatom, ideal studies, patients with hormone receptor positive T1 to T3, PN0 or PN plus, who had BCI high, so H over I high, demonstrated significant improvements in disease-free survival when adjuvant endocrine therapy was extended compared to the control arm. In contrast, H over I low patients derived no benefit from extended adjuvant therapy. And so the guidelines were updated to incorporate the BCI index, identifying it as the only biomarker that we have that's predictive for benefit from extended adjuvant endocrine therapy. So it's always nice to see that the experts on the NCCN guidelines committee took a look at all these data and this is um, and led to incorporation into the, um, the guidelines. It's, that's very, very good.